Dubai Rat Final in Paris. And it was Agu who took the gold there. So the match and Peng from Chinese Taipei will get us underway. Yes. Beautiful start. Nikki, you said they were all going high and right and you wondered when the first archer would uh, fix that. Well, there you go. There's your answer. I'm glad they're listening to me. <laughs> Usually put a spotter out into the stadium though and see what happens in the first match or two and then... Uh, you know what the difference yeah. is between the fields. Oh, Peng's come out and drilled the middle of the target. Yes. A good response from Magu as well. Yeah, it's going to be a high-level match. Aku needs a 10 to level the scores up, share the set points. Quite a lot of movement. That's the result. 27, not a bad score, but uh, what a start from Peng. Yeah, really confident, wasn't it? Straight in there with an X with the first arrow. That's exactly the way you want to start this quarterfinal. Both shooting near the middle of the target, apart from that last arrow from Agu, where perhaps the, the nerves got to her. The shorter format of this competition, with no uh, ranking round and no previous knockouts, you go straight into it. It's not necessarily uh, the capacity to shoot for hours and hours on end that's the key factor. It's about holding those nerves together right at the beginning, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, each athlete will have a way of preparing before this tournament. So uh, some of them arrived on Thursday, Friday. They've been practicing at the practice field since then and they'll know what they need to come into this match, but very much a mental game at this stage. So start of the second. Agu trailing, so starts first, and that first arrow will be measured. Yes. shooting can you know considering this is 70 meters away they're making it look very easy and quick as well isn't it well certainly from Peng she's uh very drifting off to a nine for a 28 we'll get a measure but our angle showed us perhaps the other one was a nine as well, well I think that nine will be enough 29 for a 4 nil lead, but we do get a measure. But the speed of Peng is... is uh, you mentioned this with uh, some of the compound archers that get out and shoot fast, which doesn't give a huge amount of recovery time to the other athletes. Do you think that's a, a factor in this match? It could be. I mean, recurve archers generally shoot faster. Uh, it's a much more flowing, uh, dynamic shot. Compound, you get onto that back wall and you kind of then make the shot happen. So it tends to be a longer process. So these archers will probably be quite used to this being quite a quick um, you know, timing between them as they alternate. Really unlucky with those two arrows. They're only just out. I mean, the group is easily the size of the 10, but just not getting the best out of that group size. Well, a cracking start for Peng 
Watch him out. Four nil up. Tano was standing at ready on the shooting line. She wants to crack on with this third set. A must win for her. Nueve. Nueve. So, potential opportunity here at 10. Would we need that measure, would uh, need to go up for Peng. Ocho. She puts it into the 8 for a 26. So, the match can be done here with a 10. Nueve. Gets the nine, and now that measure becomes super important. At the moment, they're on 26 apiece. But if that eight for paying the second arrow gets marked up to a nine, this one's all done in three sets. That bottom arrow is the one that we're looking at. If it's cutting the line at all, we're finding out. Yeah. Here we go. It goes up to a 9, so that's a 27 for Peng. And a 6-0 victory over Agu Utanu. And there is confirmation from the target judge. Peng through to the semi-finals. Nikki, you were looking on a little curiously there. You felt that that was quite clear. Yeah, as we look at the camera angle, uh, you know, near the judge there, you could see it was just cutting the line. So, yeah, what a match. I mean, Penn's come out here and just absolutely smashed it. Yeah, some real high-quality shooting, wasn't it? Really was, and I think we'll see more and more of that in the next couple of rounds. Starting to heat up here in Tlaxcala.